Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon, and this is Pisces energy. So this is an energy of secrets, things kept hidden. This is an energy of someone feeling emotionally overwhelmed or fearful about their feelings. They could, there could be a lack of vulnerability from someone. Okay, so let's see. We have eight of swords in the reverse, air energy. The ten of wands in the reverse, fire energy. And the three of cups water energy so this could be someone you released this is someone you gave up on someone you ended things with because there was too many secrets or you felt like you couldn't trust this person um this person was very closed off especially emotionally they could have been emotionally unavailable and you could have felt like you were carrying all of the labor the emotional labor especially you could have felt like it was a bit one-sided and it was too difficult um with the eight of swords being in the reverse you may have felt even victimized by this connection and you may have ultimately made the decision to remove yourself because there was something um something anxiety inducing about this connection this could have been a connection that didn't make you feel good about yourself and you you may have freed yourself you know with these cards being the reverse um, with the three of cups being here this could be you getting support from friends family loved ones it can also be a, an energy of this person you, this isn't the end you know because with the three of cups it can be a reunion so you could still hear from this person in fact this person could connect um could reach you through your friends if you guys have mutual friends they could be trying to uh, find out about you through them um, or trying to get to you through them um, it could also just mean that you guys could run into each other in a social setting. Let's clarify these cards for us. Okay, we have the tower and this is mars energy scorpio aries energy so it could have been a very abrupt ending there could have been drama in the ending um this is something falling apart because the foundation wasn't solid you know this person there's something around them having fears around being emotional um, or opening up or uh, connecting emotionally and ultimately this could have led to the demise of your relationship okay so let's see we have the five of swords in the reverse air energy the nine of wands fire energy and the six of cups water energy so it's a heavy energy of reconciliation this is someone from your past who wants to come back someone you gave up on they want to come back around and with the five of swords in the reverse that's a reconciliation that's them wanting to make up with you wanting to make peace wanting to be on good terms again and partner up again um, this is someone who you will be a bit skeptical about because it looks like at some point this person really puts you through the ringer you know the the wounded warrior is the nine of wands someone who's been you've been through a lot of difficulties you've you endured a lot with this person until you couldn't endure anymore you, you eventually gave up on them so something about them returning to your life you may be a bit weary of them okay so i'm gonna pull out a uh, an oracle card for you Taurus okay we have worked through your fears new moon in Scorpio so this connection could also have showed you your own fears you know how did you attract someone vibrating at this level there's something here about this connection having triggered you to also work on your own fears to it could have even changed you from within transformed you okay so let's see
Okay, we have playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So you could have thought this connection had more innocence to it than what it ultimately did. And, you know, it. you know, with the Six of Cups, it could be that this was a past life relationship, a karmic relationship, a, a relationship with a higher purpose. You know, it could have been a serious lesson and it could have came through to change you ultimately with the Scorpio energy. That's a transformation energy. And it could have also forced you to really face certain fears. There's an energy of shadow work diving deep within here as well. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have rebirth and new beginnings. New beginnings are often disguised as painful endings. It could have been a very painful ending that really resulted in a rebirth for you on a personal level. Like this connection could have really changed you. Um, it could have also changed them, whether you know it or not. This connection actually, it was a bit of a tower moment in their life. Um, this is someone who was forced to face their fears, forced to look within and dive deep with that moon energy into their own insecurities, their childhood traumas, their insecurities, fears. And it looks like this connection was that catalyst for that. Something about the way it ended. It was a real tower moment in their life. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out an oracle, no, a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, we have surrender your addictions whether you're addicted to substances food people sex or overworking take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives okay so that's what i'm seeing for you taurus i hope you have a really really good day taurus bye taurus